Buenos dias, bon dias, bonjour, good morning. It is with a great pleasure that I, I, on behalf of El Canada, welcome you all to this very important gathering. Canada is honored to co-sponsor this first regional forum on human resources for health and indigenous people. First, I would like to thank the Minister of Health of Panama for hosting us in this great country. You know, for Canadians to come to, in November, to be invited to come to Panama, it's a kind of a gift because of the nice, well, nice, warm weather that you have over here compared to what we have in Canada, actually. So thank you again for that. I congratulate the Pan American Health Organization for the work you have done to ensure this gathering of the countries of the Americas is a success and for your commitment to improving the health of people of the America, in particular, the indigenous people of the America. I would, also, I would also like to recognize the many indigenous people and organizations who are participating in this forum. El Canada recognizes that it is essential to work in collaboration and partnership with national and regional indigenous organizations to ensure that programs and services are based on meeting the needs of individuals, families, and communities. I am therefore particularly pleased that the Assembly of First Nations has joined El Canada at this conference. Canada has come to recognize that in order to improve the effectiveness of health services for First Nations and Inuit populations, one of the many important factors is an increased emphasis on health human resources and on the culturally appropriateness and safety of services. To that end, Canada is particularly pleased to participate in this forum. The vision of the forum is in line with Canada's vision. This is an unprecedented opportunity to share information and approaches, exchange ideas, and discuss the way forward in mutual, mutual efforts related to human resources for health that will ultimately benefit all indigenous population of the Americas. In closing, I would like to wish everyone a very successful forum. I am particularly pleased to be able to join in this conversation and will be having more over the next three days. Again, it's a real pleasure to be here, and it's an honor for us, for Canada, to be asked to present our experience in indigenous health human resources to this important meeting. And just to reassure everybody, I am officially, yeah, I am actually the official champion of, of uh, the, the champion of official languages in our country and in our government of Canada. I will not ask to practice your French this morning. I will just ask you to listen to me in English, and I think you will have, it will be uh, already difficult for everybody, so I will not go with my, the French this morning. So I'm very pleased to be joined by, on the panel by a representative of Canada's principal indigenous organization, the Assembly of First Nations. Our representation will, will first provide an overview of Canada's indigenous population, describe indigenous health services, its challenges and priorities, as well as the large role that it played by First Nations and the Inuit in these services. One interesting thing that I, this morning I, realized, I came to realize, listening to the pre previous presentation, we are all dealing with the same issues. When, you, when we listen to the, our Panama colleagues and, and the presentation before, it's exactly the same issues that we are facing in Canada. And we, are, we may be at different step in terms of initiatives to address those, but we are dealing essentially with the same issues. So it's interesting, it's reassuring at the, at the end, because at least we, it means that we understand the issues, all of us. At the same time, it's very challenging, because we can ask ourselves, how come we have not made more progress? If we already know, all of us, what are the key issues? So I think it's a real challenge for all of us to find out about what, what is missing here if we want to make progress in the context of um, HR. And, and health of uh, indigenous people. So after the uh, pr challenge of priorities and, and the large role, we will then provide details on indigenous health human resources, the scope of the Aboriginal health human resources initiatives, and some of its outcome, as well as the perspective from both the First Nations and Inuit with, with respect to this area. And finally, we will offer a vision for the future. So that goes to model the presentation of this morning. I would like now to turn it to Dr. Garcia, who will take us to the next step. Merci.